Welcome to the City Current Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference, empowering the good, and in this case, we're talking about transformation. We're here with our friend, Demetria Short, founder and CEO of Transformation Life Center. How are you doing? Jeremy, I'm doing great. I'm super excited about this conversation this morning, and thank you for the invitation. Well, you all do a lot of good, and we'll talk all about that, but this starts with your personal story, and so give us a little bit of your personal background and what led you to launch Transformation Life Center. Yeah, Transformation Life Center was birthed from my struggle as the first in my family to go to college. I was a 3.8 GPA, three-sport scholar athlete in Cincinnati, Ohio, so we just knew my pathway to success is going to be going on to school. I got a bright son, and he's a little athletic. Put those two together, free ride to college, right? In the books. Well, that didn't happen. God had a totally different plan. And I found out the hard way that um, the cost of education, I didn't get that D1, D2 scholarship for sports. Ended up here in Nashville, Tennessee at Fisk University. And it just opened my eyes to the historical black college and university, the John Lewis, the W.E.B. Du Bois. Grew up as a black uh, athlete and, and never knew about the, the amazing talent and amazing leaders we had in the African-American community. So I went to Fisk, I was gonna say one semester just to keep my academic eligibility and transfer. Got there and wow, this amazing university, great knowledge, great understanding. So I decided to stay, but I didn't have any means to pay for school. I didn't have a plan B. So I found myself working, paying myself through school, ended up with a 1.8 GPA, on academic probation, went through a very dark and troubling time as a student trying to matriculate and find my way through. Do I go to class or do I go to work and feed myself? So I found myself uh, basically homeless, sleeping on a friend's couch, sleeping on the dorm director's uh, couch and hid it from everyone, alligator skin shoes on, blue suit, looking the part, but on the inside going through a very dark and troubling time. But I pulled myself up by my bootstraps. I kept moving, kept persevering. And five and a half years later, I graduated from Fisk University with my uh, dream job at IBM. And I came back to Fisk. I used to walk from the career services to those internships, no car. So imagine this little black kid with great dreams with a briefcase <laughs> walking up West End, <laughs> trying to get to work, sweating, shirts black from all the sweat and getting the work going, got to turn that face on and got to perform. Uh, little did I know that it was developing me into the CEO that I am today. And I came back to Fisk and said, I'm going to help one student by just giving a little scholarship. And here we are 20 years later, We've uh, given over $100,000, and it was during that walk that I said every step I took was a step towards our success, and that's when Transformation Life Center and the Steps of Success 5K was birthed. And for anyone who you know follows you on social media or knows your story, when you talk about what you do, you do it in style, and you're out there doing the walk, run, 5K in a suit, and so... Go ahead and dive in deeper on that event because it is a premier event and it is obviously when you talk about what you do, that was the genesis. And so go ahead and dive in deeper on that. Yes, the, the race, you know, uh, is, is symbolic of life. We always say life is never straight. We want our young people to understand again. And I saw it first and foremost, right? Uh, we're not giving them anything that we have not experienced. And that's the beauty of Transformation Life Center. We bring our students face to face with individuals who walk the walk and can talk the talk. What better person to inspire our students to, to, to transform into who they want to be? So the race uh, was symbolic. I vowed. I made a vow to God uh, when I came back on that first walk. I said, I'm going to help one student not go through um, and I'm going to run this 5K race in a suit and sneakers to commemorate my struggle. It humbles me every year. I go to Shelby to never forget where you came from, Demetrius. Never forget, there's a student going through what you go through. So now I'm bringing thousands of runners to Shelby. This is our 13th year. Now we have CEOs flying all over the country in suits. Hey, I wanna join this crazy guy. <laughs> 
and literally walk and run 3.1 miles to, to show students that, man, success it's not necessarily a look, but it is a feeling that you can, can, can dress for success. You can be successful. But this path, these 3.1 miles that we walk and run together is symbolic of life and barriers to your success will arise. And when I got laid off by IBM three years after getting that job, there was another hill in the valley. So the race is symbolic of what our students will go through in life and all of us will go through in life. But at the finish line, there's City Current, there's Transformation Life Center. All of our thought leaders and sponsors are there to welcome these students. All we're teaching them is that it's gonna take perseverance, it's gonna take endurance, and it's gonna take faith. And all we want you to do is not quit at mile one, two or three, come across that finish line. So that race will be September 9th, Selby Park, I will suit up for the 13th year. Uh, we walked over 2 million miles collectively. We've given over $100,000 at that race. It is our staple fundraiser to fuel the programs and services at Transformation Life Center. And when you talk about the programs and services, there's a lot more ground to cover indeed. Let's go ahead and start with Brown Boys Read. Wow. Yeah, we say that, that the finish line of our race is the starting line for the programming. So our feet in that race are actually little uh, micro grants, the $40, $50 registration. It fuels after the race to, to help uh, fund our amazing Brown Boys Read program. This program is five years old. We're celebrating five years. It's in partnership with the local chapter of Black Men Run. So it's Black Men Run, Brown Boys Read. And it stemmed from uh, our partnership with Metro Public Schools and other uh, nonprofits because the literacy rate in Nashville and Tennessee is 37%. Um, and none of us should be happy about that. Add on to that now COVID, add on to that now the new bill uh, that if the students this week and next week doesn't pa don't pass that Tennessee Ready test, they're going to hold back any person who's uh, any student that will not pass that third grade literacy test. This initiative is literacy, leadership, and health and wellness of black and brown boys. It's coined, we are inspiring the love of reading through the love of running to help black and brown boys improve reading proficiency, outrun childhood obesity, and live fuller and healthier lives. We read one and a half hours with black and brown boys who are struggling or below the third grade literacy level. And then what do we do? We take these amazing boys out on a three mile run. So we are cultivating the future healthy black and brown men in our community who are healthy and strong, but who persevere through their educational excellence and become good students. So this is our fifth year. We have 25 boys in our program right now. They ran their first one and a half miles last night. You should see these little guys, man, they're socking these shoes, uh, their new black men run shirts, uh, the big smiles, and we incorporate the books they read into the routes that they run. So we bring up every book they read through the run. We ask them, what was the title of the book? So we are inspiring the love in a fun way and a creative way for these young men to grow and develop and be great readers and prepare for the Tennessee Ready Test next week. That's awesome. Talk about Pathway to Success Leadership Academy. Our staple program that started uh, day one uh, was all about helping collegiate students who we know uh, can be great leaders in Nashville and in the world. So our Pathway to Success Leadership Academy, again, everything stems from that race. We name it Pathway to Success. And the mantra for the race is, it's more than a race. It's a pathway to success. That is lived out through this amazing leadership academy where we take 25 to 30 African-American uh, students from local colleges and universities, and we put them in this innovative think tank where we bring them face to face with some of the most amazing thought leaders to help transform their lives. We take that freshman who mom and dad dropped off and went back to California and said, you better do well. And that freshman sitting there with their knees buckling, no family support, um, aspirations just going crazy. But how do you expect a 17 year old to put it all together? I went through the same thing, right? So we are be we become their family. We become their support. And we ignite purpose, help them find their purpose 
Once we help them find their purpose, I want to be a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, a pastor, or whatever. Then we take them through this leadership academy, and the academy serves as the incubation center because you all know that a, a, a flame will never stay lit unless it has the right oxygen and the right thing. So we know that it's going to be uh, tiring times, times where they want to give up. We inspire them by bringing who they want to be face to face with them, doctors to future doctors, lawyers to future lawyers. Who better to learn from the individuals who are living and walking the walk that our students want to be? So each student gets a thousand dollar scholarship. Last cohort, the race was able to give thirty thousand dollars to these students in the academy we call them successors we don't call them students every day it's good morning successor how are you doing successor we do that because we want them to know today while there's a struggling transformation life center and our partners believe that success is in your dna so hearing that makes them feel good and they know they have a partner with us they go through 10 to 12 workshops financial literacy, networking, uh, negotiating salaries. We take them through an amazing transformative uh, experience and then they graduate and they have to return the favor and give back to Brown Boys Read. We put the spirit of giving back into them and they become servant leaders throughout Transformation Life Center to help their younger students aspire to be successful. An amazing ecosystem of success, cultivating future leaders in the black community, to positively impact their community and the world. How can the community help your efforts? Well, I mean, this is a great year in year 13. We've done this, Jeremy, with 100% volunteer support. As the executive director, we work full-time jobs, but we are at the point now where we have a model for success. We have companies who are hiring specifically out of Transformation Life Center. That is the biggest compliment when they say, your students, are a step ahead of some of the other ones we've seen because of the cultivation, because of uh, the time we spend with them, the workshops, the care and concern, the mentoring, coaching. So we're looking for partners who can help us expand our programming. I mentioned before, normally 25 brown boys, normally 25 uh, uh, male and female black college students, but we're getting calls every week for students and at other universities. I uh, had a call with Cincinnati, Ohio. They want us to bring it to Cincinnati. They've heard so much great things. So we want to raise more money. We just brought in a program director and uh, another operations director. For the first time, we're paying for salaries. Again, we commemorate uh, our past, but we know we cannot, we got to have the infrastructure to be able to grow and get this academy to 50, 100, to thousands of students so Transformation Life Center, we are soaring into our first uh, staff's positions to be able to handle expanding these programs into multiple uh, um, um, other cohorts. So uh, anyone who has DEI initiatives or just know about youth development, we have partnership opportunities, sponsorship opportunities. We also need volunteers. We would love for thought leaders, CEOs, volunteers to sign up to teach a class volunteer to coach a student. So there's opportunities for individuals to not just give money and help us fund, but also you are the curriculum. You are the curriculum. So if you would like to get involved, volunteer, you can reach out to us at info at transformationlifecenter.org and we can get you directed in the area or areas you would love to volunteer and support. When you look at the successors as an example, and these young men and women, what's been the feedback from them when you talk about being able to go through these experiences, this transformation, having these business and community leaders pour into them, what's been the feedback on their end? Well, just just recently, uh, our our students at 22 are writing books. They're, they're best-selling authors, uh, Miles Harris, uh, who... Our commissioner, Stuart uh, McMorder, gave the highest compliment just a couple of days ago. He looked at Miles at our banquet and said, you should have my job. I mean, <laughs> and we're sitting there going, wow, uh, from a 10 minute TED talk speak from Miles. Our successors are saying Transformation Life Center has changed the trajectory of their lives. Jeremy, I'll be 50 this year. And to hear a 16, 17, 18 year old say, wow. 
I would have gone a different way if it was not for Transformation Life Center. And sometimes going the other way in failures is what we need, but to speed up the trajectory and the pathway to success for our future leaders, to help them not go through barriers that we know are there, that we can help them prevent early on in life, where they can make better financial decisions in their 20s and not in their 40s while they're single and aspirational and don't have families and husbands and wives to, 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 that, that will have an impact on that. That's what they're saying. You are putting us in rooms that we never could have gotten in. We're taking them to banquets. We're putting them in front of commissioners, CEOs, the mayor. Uh, and so it's bringing the light. One of our successors was in the room with Michael B. Jordan a couple of weeks ago. And he texted me and said, if it was not for that networking workshop that he had just gone through, the fear of asking a question was overtaking him, but we taught him how to manage the room. And he said, I asked the question to Michael B. Jordan that he said, wow, good question. And he texts me, thank you, Mr. Short, for helping me maneuver through these amazing rooms uh, that we are coming face to face with people who can do some amazing things for us. So they're telling us, Jeremy, that it's working. We believe it. We know it. Our partners are saying that uh, the students that we hire are doing amazing things. So uh, they are truth and proof in the pudding that Transformation Life Center is truly cultivating future leaders uh, who are going to be front and center and who want to give back to the Nashville community and the world. Well, and Miles is one of the successors that I've had a chance to meet. And to your point, yeah. absolutely amazing. So, I'm <laughs> yeah. fearful of my job. I don't know if I'm going to have a job. <laughs> I better step it up here, Jeremy. Um, he's one of, a, of, of of hundreds that are just amazing and and uh, doing some great things in their, their jobs and on their campuses. Absolutely. I agree 100%. So wrap up on your end with where we can go to learn more and get involved. So website, email, where would we go to get involved? Yes, indeed. Again, transformationlifecenter.org. Transformationlifecenter.org is our website where you can see all the amazing programs. There's links for you to quickly click and uh, get involved. Um, so you can do that and you can simply donate if you want to sow into any of these programs. They're there. The race, 13th, 13th Annual Steps of Success 5K. The registration link is on transformationlifecenter.org. You click it. You can register your family. You can sign your friends up. You can walk or run one mile or 3.1 miles, challenging you to come and dress as a suit in a suit and sneakers and run with me. Um, and then our social media, TLC underscore Nash is our Instagram and also Steps of Success 5K are our Instagram handles. And if you want to do an old-fashioned call, 615-997-6841, email address info at transformationlifecenter.org. Demetrius Short, CEO and founder, Transformation Life Center. Thank you for all you and your amazing team do. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, Jeremy. We appreciate it. Thank you, City Current.